everybody! So I am here with a um, kind of demo video slash review for you guys and that is on this uh, curling iron. This is the Remington... oh god. I don't even know the name of it. I'll, uh, it's gonna be up, up on the title. Uh, I'm sorry, I threw away all the packaging when I first got it and I um, should have looked into this before I started the video but it's too late now. So it is this curling iron right here. Just to describe it for you, it's got a pink barrel and a black handle and the buttons are pink. I think that's why I like it so much and it's kind of flimsy. It's it's really lightweight though so I like that. It's plastic so and then this part kind of feels like almost an aluminum. I don't really know. It's a very light uh, almost metal. I'm not sure if it's yeah, it's got to be metal. And it's got just a simple base right here. And it's got a swivel cord. And that's really good. Especially if you're in a hurry, you don't have time to fix the cord as you go. You know, you wrap it around your hair and maybe it gets all tangled. That's never good. So the swivel cord is a nice addition. I don't know of many um, of the really low end. Not necessarily low end as in bad, but low end as in you can get them at any grocery store or drug store. You know, they're not super professional tools. I don't know of many that have the swivel cord, so I do like that. You know, the design isn't the greatest, but the handle kind of has this curve to it, so it's very comfortable in my hands. And I have really small hands, so, you know, any curling iron or tool that's really big kind of gives me achy hands, if that makes any sense. So I, I like this, and it's got this, I guess, plasticky base. That way you don't burn yourself if you're holding the tip and also the reason I bought this iron over the Conair one is because of the glove I don't know if the Conair comes with gloves or not I've heard that it doesn't but I really wanted a glove so yeah, I got it and the good thing is that these run really small and like I said I have really tiny hands so this is great for me so anyway enough about that it's got three buttons a plus a minus and a power button so to turn it on you just and then this took me like five minutes because I'm dumb. I had to hold on to the power button. And then you see the light come on. And right now, this is currently set at 356 degrees. You can up the temperature if you'd like, all the way up to 410 degrees. And it goes as low as 266 degrees. Just to make this video go by a little bit faster, I'm going to put it at its highest setting, 410 and already it's heating up pretty quickly. I have not put anything in my hair. Um, all I have is a detangler and I'm just gonna go ahead and brush through my hair once again. Now I have really long and really thick hair. However, the strands themselves are very, very thin. I don't know if you have hair like me, but if you do, then a low temperature usually does the job, but it doesn't hold a curl very well. Like, the curls won't be very long lasting at all. So I have to do kind of in the middle. If it's too high of a temperature, it works, but I worry that it's um, damaging my hair too much. So I like to go in the middle for the most part. I believe it's already heated up all the way. Although, um, it might still be heating because the dial is still working, as you can see. I think when it's all the way heated, it'll, it'll either stay constant or beep or something. Actually, no, this one doesn't beep. But I'm going to assume it's hot enough because it's really, really hot to the touch. So I'm just going to start by taking a strand of hair. And I like to curl outwards. So I just hold, I hold the iron like this because I like the curls um, starting big near the root and getting smaller. You could do it this way. Either way you prefer, I like this way. But I'm just going to wrap it like this all the way around the barrel. Oh, my hair's steamy. Oops. Fail. I'm sorry, it's kind of hard to see without a mirror. But the glove is great because you get to hold the curl in place. And I like to hold it for anywhere up to 10 seconds. But since it's on such a high um, temperature, less is fine. So if you only do a few seconds, you already get um, a nice bouncy curl. Um, this isn't very... Um, very voluminous. It's actually a pretty flat curl, but if you hold it for much longer, you'll get a more full body curl. And we'll let it go. Now, one way to um, achieve the really nice, long lasting curl is to just hold it in place and let it cool. This takes a long time, but you'll get a nice curl out of it. Hi, Angel. Uh oh, don't bring yourself. 
She like came up to me and wanted to sniff the barrel of the curling iron. No, you can't do that. Come say hi. Come on. I don't think I should keep metal things around you. But yeah, here's Angel. Hi, Angel. Okay, bye, Angel. And I'm wearing shorts, just in case you're wondering. Um, so yeah, okay. So here's the curl after I let it kind of cool. It does pretty well, I think, for such a cheap iron. I think I paid around $24 for this. So there's that. Very nice curl, very bouncy. Ooh, that's bouncing on its own. It's like a bobblehead. So yeah, um, I think it does great curls, and you can either just leave it like this and spray it. You can comb it out, brush it out. If you brush it out, they're going to be a lot more separated. Not so PC, I guess you could say which um, some people like. I actually like to do my hair in a more of a loose wave. So I'll do my whole head and I'll brush it out quite a bit. And I'll actually show you um, how I do that. So, yes. So that's one. You can also take a really, really thick chunk of hair. The thicker the amount of hair that you use for the curl. Of course, the longer it's going to take to curl that hair. But it's all good. So this one's going to take a while. And the one bad thing I don't like about these um, curling irons that kind of taper down at the end is that they're really slippery. Like the hair kind of falls down and slides to the bottom of the iron really, really quickly. And I don't like that. Um, I wish it would stay. That's one bad thing about not using clamps when you curl. And anyway, the method I've got right now is I've got the base sitting on the palm of my hand. And I'm using my two, my two pinchy fingers, these two, to hold the hair in place. So we're just going to wait. Doo, doo, doo. Angel's lying next to me. There she is. Hi, Angel. She doesn't care. So this is what it looks like, the curl that I just did. So you can do really small bits of hair, and you can also do very thick bits of hair. It's up to you. And I do like the look of the thicker more, and it takes less time. And it's still bouncy. It's just a little heavier since there's so much of it. So I'm going to just go ahead and curl my whole head and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when I am done. Okay, so I just finished my last um, curl and so this is what my hair looks like without brushing it out. I mean, I brushed out like one or two strands that I showed you guys, um, but yeah, this is what it looks like unbrushed. I didn't get all the curls to be perfect because, actually let me move my camera down some because my hair, like I said, it was really wet, like in here, so it didn't take the curl that well. It kind of curled a lot at the ends, but not so much um, up here, so I don't recommend trying to curl your hair when it's still wet. What I would do is I would wash my hair at night and then curl my hair maybe the next morning, but I didn't have time to do that today, so I just kind of washed it and then let it air dry and then attempted to curl it, so... The results weren't super amazing, but they still look good, considering. But I do like the way this looks. I do like this curler, and I need to turn it off, actually. And to turn it off, you just hold on to the button until the little um, blue numbers turn off. So it's as simple as that, but do let it sit on its face and cool. And actually, uh, do not store it sitting on top of the glove, because the glove cannot take the constant heat. It's good to kind of burned it. That's weird. But anyway, it's meant to kind of only be touching the heat temporarily. If you do it any longer than like, you know, two minutes, then maybe it'll burn. You could either set your hair with hairspray. I don't like to do that. I like to actually take this. This is the macadamia oil from Ulta. You can get, this is called the healing oil spray. And this is actually pretty expensive. So um, if you have something that you can like spray your hair with to condition it, like some kind of leave-in conditioner, I would get that instead of this. And I just like to take a little bit and just carefully... <laughs> I'm scared! Just spritz it in the hair like that and run through it. But yeah, you just work through it with your hands and kind of spread the oil everywhere. Um, of course, wash your hands when you're done with this and you are set. So this was my demo of the Remington curling wand. I hope you guys enjoyed this video or if it was helpful, 
you know, to help you decide if you wanted to get one of these or not. Um, personally, I have a curling iron with a, a, um, what is that called? The clamp. Um, and I, I did use that. Um, it's an inch around. I think this starts at an inch at the base, but it goes down to, I believe, a quarter inch around at the tip. Um, but the one, the curling iron, the regular curling iron I have is an inch the whole way. And I actually kind of like that better because I like having more, mm, like, thick, thick curls, I guess, if that makes any sense. Because you know how they're kind of curl, I mean, thin at the bottom. Um, but I actually, the more I use this, the more I really like it. It looks a lot more natural. I mean, it's really hard for curls to look natural. I mean, who am I kidding? But granted that they are curls, it doesn't look so overdone, even though it's super curly. It looks very, I guess, natural. I don't really know how to explain it. I hope that makes sense. But I do recommend this to anyone who wants it. It is cheaper than the Conair um, curling iron. And I, in my opinion, I mean, I haven't used them both, but I'm sure it works just as well as the other curling wand. So yeah, if you have any questions about this product, do let me know. I bought mine at Target, for those of you who are wondering. And like I said, I got it for about $24. So it was like $23.99 or something. Um, I do plan on keeping it. I really like it. I wish it came with thicker barrels because I do, I love the super thick curls since my hair is so long. If your hair is really short, it'd be great to use the thinner part of the barrel. And if your hair is like mine and really long, then you can do the tapering effect. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like this. I think it's really an interesting product. Um, it's a lot different than the new curling iron, than the regular curling irons out. I, I like this trend. I think even, even when this stops being produced and people stop, like, you know, hyping about it, I think I'll still be using this. I do like it a lot. I mean, not that I'm, like, a trendsetter or anything like that. Or, well, I mean, I guess I'm a trend follower, but... Um, you know what I mean, right? Right, okay. So, yeah, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you all have a great day. And if you like this video, just like it. And if you like my videos, please subscribe. And I will definitely talk to you guys later. Bye!